Okay, so, um, all right, so let me tell you guys that this is an act of courage for me. Um, some of the stuff I'm going to tell you, I, I, up until last hour, I'd never told anybody at CSL. Um, I don't typically spend much time in the past, but I think it's important to understand my past for you guys to get a perspective on the possibility of transformation that occurs for each one of us at CSL Dallas. So when I came here, well, let me just go back to the beginning. I was lonely and felt invisible since I was a child. Uh, I had a, there were some needs I really needed and didn't get them. So I thought that if I could just be good enough, if I could just be perfect enough, if I could just be right enough, then somebody would notice me. Uh, a lot of stuff happened during my life and I ended up with post-traumatic stress disorder as a result of a series of violent and life-threatening relationships. I was obsessed with remorse and regret after having not done my life better. Really, man, I just couldn't let it go. And I never felt safe unless I was alone. Now, how this showed up as me, my behavior with others was, I was critical, cynical, distrusting, suspicious of people, paranoid, and I had a core belief that uh, the world would be a lot better place if I just didn't exist. Uh, I was waiting, I was just waiting until this life was over because there were, no matter what I tried, it didn't work. I was the kind of person that if I had a conflict with somebody, and people called me various things from computer to bulldozer to driver to choleric, wonderful words that described my behavior and how I treated people in my, in my desire to make life work. And so I would run into conflicts, or I'd hurt somebody's feelings or whatever, and bothered me so much that I would just withdraw from life. I spent many, many years alone in my house with my husband as my only friend, and I worked out of my house because that was the only way I could actually function. So by the time I got here, I was pretty desperate. And I made a decision with my life. I decided that no matter what it took, I was gonna make something change so that my life could be worthwhile. Why CSL Dallas? Well, I have been a metaphysician since I was 14, and I needed a, a place that had a similar belief system to mine. This center and all CSLs have a pathway, and that pathway is classes. In, uh, in the fall, I'll be taking Inward Journey. So I've been doing this for four years now. Every single class gives me another piece of the puzzle and makes my life just a little bit better. And then I needed a way shower, and that way shower for me is Petra Weldis, primarily because I could identify with Petra. Petra is somebody who talks into my soul. I feel so connected when she talks. It's like my mind opens up, my heart opens up, and I understand myself in a much deeper way. So coming here and having the wonderful experience of that woman in my life has made all the difference. I'm not crying, not crying. Okay, but no matter what, even though I was doing all this stuff, I still felt desperately lonely. I still was making, oh, 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 before I go with that one, I contributed, I volunteered, and then I made a ton of mistakes. I would do all the stuff I was doing in life. I would hurt somebody's feelings. I'd, I'd, I'd bulldoze over somebody. I would do these things, and I didn't run away. I decided I would be here no matter what. No matter who or what or if, if life was crummy or whatever, I was going to be here. And I would sit in my chair <sighs> many weeks and months and cry and feel alone and not run away and feel alone and not run away. And that was the key for me. Finally, a few, not that, not that long ago actually, I made a realization and that was that I didn't believe it. I did not believe in the science of mind. And that was the thing why I was still living in the wound. So I decided to start practicing, to actually do the spiritual practice that I'd been learning all this time. Instead of making just an intellectual exercise, to actually do the work. 
So I got a practitioner. Huge, huge difference in my life. I got a prayer partner. Thank you, prayer partner. I know you're here. You make a huge difference in my life. I'm going to add another one. Joining a sangha group. Doing these things, spiritual mind treatment, praying out loud by myself, learning how to do that is huge, and then affirmations. And so I would say relatively quickly, within just maybe a month or so, everything started to shift. I started to enjoy life. I started to like myself. I started to feel good about being me, and I started to like you. <laughs> Wow, what a difference. So if it, can, if it can happen for me, it can happen for anybody as far as I'm concerned. Thank you guys for loving me to the point where I am now. I appreciate you so much, and I certainly appreciate CSL Dallas. <laughs>